Today we're on the driving range at Les Bolstad Golf Course hitting stingers. I'm joined by Will Hedberg, second swing team member and very skilled golfer. He's going to show us how it's done. If you enjoy this video, drop a like and leave a comment and then subscribe to the Second Swing YouTube channel. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Will Hedberg, Second Swing Team Member from the Minnetonka Store. We're at the driving range today. We're gonna hit stingers. Uh, so today, we're, this is filming during the open, uh, so where a lot of stingers are hit, Will. Um, and uh, you know how it's done. You're gonna show me kind of, well, I'll show everybody how it's done today. So, um, Will, kind of first explain to the viewers who you are, uh, what type of golfer you are, and um, you know some of your credentials maybe. Awesome, so yeah, I go to Baylor University. I'm gonna be a senior. And I play on the club golf team, so the NCCGA. And uh, this past spring, I was the fifth ranked player in the country in the NCCGA. I'm also a scratch golfer. And yeah, I go to school in Texas, so we very much uh, play in the wind. And stingers are a very important uh, club in the game. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, especially in Texas, you're gonna hit a lot of stingers. So um, just a quick synopsis before you, know, you demonstrate for us. Mm -hmm. A stinger, why is it useful? When should you hit it? and then uh, we'll get into some of the demonstration and really how we set up and hit the shot. So stingers, there's kind of two reasons why you should hit it. One, there's a lot of rollout. And two, if there's a lot of wind, you can cut right through the wind. So um, stingers are very, very low shots, very close to the ground, uh, very controlled, but it also takes a lot of skill to hit them. So. All right, well, let's see that skill, huh? Let's see how it's done. Let's do it. All right, so Will, first I want to get info on the well, the club you have, but also mm -hmm. just the type of club that would be effective for a stinger because, you know, you see, you hear the word stinger, um, mm -hmm. there's obviously, you know, everybody's got different types of clubs, different brands, mm -hmm. uh, but what type of club would you say is the best to hit a stinger, hit this type of shot when you need it on the course? So when you need it on the course, the type of shot or the type of club is a very low lofted, uh, either iron or metal. Okay. So I would highly suggest, you know, a three wood, a lot of people have a fairway wood, a three wood in their bag. Uh, the standard three wood loft is about 15 degrees. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest, you know, 15 degrees there. Um, I've got a two iron, which is 17 degrees. Okay. Um, and then pretty much four iron is a very popular one, and that's 21 degrees. So anything kind of in the range 15 to 21 degrees is an ideal stinger club. Okay, perfect. So what we're going to do, we'll have you hit, hit just a couple of shots with a standard swing with this club, just so we'll, so we'll get kind of well, what we should expect from you normally mm -hmm. out of your two iron. Um, off the tee here, we'll see what those numbers are like, and then we'll hit stingers. You'll show us how it's done, and we'll compare those numbers to see, really tell golfers what changes between hitting a stinger and then hitting your normal swing. 100%, let's do it. So my normal two iron, I have it as kind of the 230 to 270 club. Okay. Uh, in Texas, we get a lot of rollout with our shots, especially in the winter. So this will definitely roll out to 270, 280. God, I was smashed. That's good. Heck yeah. Very nice. Then when I'm really trying to go for it, nice little high draw. Not a lot of spin. Swing as hard as you can. Do hope your fairways are that wide. <laughs> so we've got three shots here. Now we'll kind of get the averages on your numbers here, chart them in a little bit. But you kind of hit three different types of shots too. So we have really everything in the bag that you would use on kind of your full swing, so to speak, for this club. Um, so on average, hitting it on total 245. That last one went nearly 260 with the draw mm -hmm. there, and of course hitting the cut on the other shots. But so. The, the thing I want to touch on is height. So 93 feet in the air on average with those mm -hmm. three shots. And I think that's where we'll see a big difference um, between the stinger and then, you know, your normal full swings. Also launch angle is 12.5 degrees. So mm -hmm. I think those are a couple of things we'll watch here as you hit a stinger. So um, with that said now, um, I want to kind of get your, you know, have you basically walk us through setting up for a stinger and then right before you hit, maybe kind of explain what's different how you, in terms of how you swing versus gotcha. normal yeah. shot. 100%. So um, when um, people are teaching you and kind of a lot of PGA Tour pros and coaches say, the longer the club, 
the uh, more forward the ball goes in the stands. So mm -hmm. for me, when I have the ball um, in my stance with a two iron, it's pretty close to almost off my left, like the inside of my left foot here. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely more um, towards the front of my stance as opposed to the middle of stance like you see in a normal iron. Yeah. But when you're doing a stinger, that's where I would suggest to stick it more in the middle of your stance. So the middle of your stance, um, you're gonna be coming down a little bit harder, especially with the longer club. Mm -hmm. uh, that's gonna deal off the club, and that's where you're gonna see the uh, low shots here. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, another question then for you. So you talked about ball in your stance. Mm -hmm. Um, do you consciously swing steeper or do you set up differently to maybe your feet are wider or more narrow, anything like that? that so, goes through your um, normal swing compared again, normal swing, kind of normal stance, almost like, kind of just smaller than a driver, uh, just because it is a longer club. Like I actually have a 90 gram three wood shaft in here, okay. uh, hazardous smoke 6.0. So that'd be stiff flex and a very low spin shaft with uh, 2.3 degrees of torque. So yeah. very, very, very low. Um, but when I'm doing a stinger, um, I'm going to kind of make my stance more narrow. So almost like that of like, you know, a seven iron or eight iron. So just wider than shoulder, shoulder width apart. So pretty narrow. And ball position is going to be directly in the center of my stance. Mm -hmm. and so when I'm swinging, I'm taking almost, so when I do it, my wrists go up a little bit more because I really want that steeper attack angle. Right. So, um, very, very vertical, almost like you're kind of chopping down with an ax on the golf ball. Sure. So that's kind of, kind of how I think through it. So here, I'll show you an example here. Smaller stance, middle of the ball position, middle of the stance, vertical swing, and it'll come down pretty steep. My goal here is to cut that 93 feet number in half. So 46 would be a goal, pretty solid goal here. Well, let's see what Something you got like here. 55, yeah, that's pretty darn close. Yeah, pretty close. But that thing is going to, well, A, number one, so on that stinger, it's, there's way less of a chance of it flying way offline, you know, because exactly, it's so yeah. close to the ground, mm -hmm. it's number one. And then number two, now, it just rained a ton overnight here, so maybe mm -hmm. not as much on the, uh, the effect here, but on a dry course, that's gonna run forever. Yeah, uh, in which Texas, is another benefit in the winter, that probably is gonna run about 50 yards, <laughs> so. So, all right, well, so that's, let's see another one from you, huh? Let's see it. Awesome, yeah. So another big thing that I find with uh, stinger shots and for the most part off the tee, like with drivers and fairway woods, um, when we fit people here at Second Swing, um, one of the biggest things off the tee and even go kind of for every club is spin rate. So spin rate with the driver kind of around 2,000 to 2,500 is kind of an ideal range. Mm -hmm. um, I hit mine just a little bit less than that. My three wood's kind of in that 2,500 range, but with a stinger shot, it's gonna be very low spin, or the goal is to be low spin. So you see some people kind of do those low risers. Those kind of have a lot more spin just because they kind of skyrocket right. uh, like a fighter jet. But with these ones, I'm looking to go pretty low spin. Like what was the spin rate on that last one? That was? 2,900. 2,900. So, um, 3,000 is pretty, um, pretty standard for a stinger shot for okay. me at least. I don't know what uh, a normal um, two iron is supposed to be, but uh, 3,000 is pretty, pretty low for an iron. So, as I sit up, middle of the stance uh, for ball position, pretty narrower stance, very vertical swing, and I want to try to swing a little bit harder okay. and swing a little bit more down on this one. See if I can get that really low number. God, that is crazy to watch that. <laughs> Just stays beneath everything. Mm -hmm. So that one's 48.8 feet in the air. Launch angle is seven degrees on that one. Yeah. So we talked about the average launch angle for the kind of your full shots of this club, mm -hmm. 12 and a half degrees. This one is seven degrees. Um, and then it actually, so it carried only 213. Mm -hmm. And then depending on the course conditions, that could roll yeah. out, you know, 260, 270 potentially exactly, depending. Yeah. So, um, and especially when you're going into the winds, um, that number might be a little bit lower into the wind. So as I said earlier, this is kind of my 230 to 260 club, mm -hmm. but 213 carry, uh, when that's, that's going in the fairway. And once that hits in the fairway, that's just gone. Right. So 
Yeah, and then you spun that one just over 3,000 RPM there too. Yep. So that's kind of the, your money range. Let's get one more, then I'm gonna try one myself to see if I can kind of pull this off here. Heck yeah, let's do it. So this one, tee it up relatively lower. So I normally have kind of a normal tee height when I'm teeing the ball up uh, as if it were, I were hitting a three wood. So that way I really kind of don't want to hurt my wrist when you're getting down in the ground. Uh, big divots kind of hurt the wrist, but I'm trying not to dig really deep in the ground. That's where you're going to get that um, spin right down is not necessarily scooping the ball, but hitting down, not getting a lot of dirt afterwards. So I can show you my divot pattern here afterwards. There's really nothing there. Another one with a draw too, that's gonna roll. Oh yeah. Yep, that one's 46 feet in the air and it's just over 3,000 again for the spin, so. so. Yeah, that was the goal, 46 feet. Yeah, so I'm just looking at these numbers comparatively just to kind of compare, so we got um, you know, we've got the launch angle dropping by 5.4 degrees. We've got your average height dropping by well, I, I, essentially in half. It was 93 mm -hmm. to 47. So, mm -hmm. um, and then distance wise, it's almost, so on here, obviously that's, it's controlled kind of how it yep. rolls out. So, but your distance only dropped six yards total, mm -hmm. but the carry dropped 18 yards. So exactly. that's going to, I mean, so. that's expected. So, and that's how it's done really. And your yeah. spin dropped, you know, several hundred RPM, well, mm -hmm. four, 300 RPM. Um, on total, so no lower spin, lower height, lower launch. Mm -hmm. That's the idea of a stinger. So now I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see if I can kind of pull this off and I'll kind of have you walk through again yeah, with me definitely. setting up and then we'll see if I can get it done. Yeah. All right, well, setting up for my stinger. Great, Make so sure I'm doing kind of take right. your normal stance, um, a little bit shorter as I said, so just more than shoulder width apart. Uh, okay. Ball position is gonna be right smack dab in the middle of your stance. Okay. So even more back from right okay. where you are. Yep. And for some people, um, especially those for this shaft, at least, I think this is a stiff shaft compared to his normal extra stiff. Yeah. Because he swings it faster than I do. So maybe a little bit uh, of forward press to kind of balance out. Okay. So a little bit more vertical swing and let's, let's see. see it. Let's see. So a little fade up the middle. Not quite perfect contact, but. The thing, the nice thing about that is it's going to be down the middle. Yeah. So the height was 53.2 on that one. Ooh, okay. So it rolled out exactly 20 yards, and that's kind of the goal. So a higher iron shot is going to roll out probably about, you know, five, five yards at most, 10 mm -hmm. yards at most off the tee. But this one, 20 yards. So let's try one more here. All right, slightly, slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Ball a little bit farther back in the stance. A little bit of a cut there, but that's a, that's a useful shot there, Will. Exactly. So um, 75 feet of height, which is a little uh, bit higher than you. A little bit higher than me, but trying still to catch very the master low. here. But um, <laughs> um, yeah, that rolled out. So it carried 220, rolled out to 233. So uh, nice. definitely a good bit of rollout. Well, Will, thanks for showing me how it's done today. I have another shot in my bag now that I can use on the golf course. Uh, golfers, like, uh, and if you play in the wind, again, this is going to be great for you to learn and use on the golf course. So, again, Will, thanks for showing us how it's done today. You're very welcome. Have fun with those stingers.